Pakistan PM Imran Khan is obsessed with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. You know he keeps going over the top with his remarks against PM Modi and tries to contact him despite getting ghosted by the Indian side. So let us put it straight. Imran Khan wants photo ops with a high profile meeting with PM Modi, but he isn't getting it. So dear Imran, here is what you can do to get that big meeting. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I'm Eros Tribhuvan and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story, in this video, I will tell you 13 reasons how Imran Khan can have an audience with PM Modi. Let's begin. In 2019, the print published the report that narrated how Pakistan PM Imran Khan tried to establish contact with PM Modi but failed badly. It has been over two years since the report was published, but things remain more or less the same. And now Imran Khan is desperate to talk to PM Modi, but it is highly unlikely that he will get the audience he is aiming to get. Imran's act border on virtual stalking by a jilted lover. Just like an overzealous ex, Imran Khan wrote letters that went unreplied and rang PM Modi's phone with a volley of missed calls. But guess what? PM Modi did not reciprocate. He ignored Khan's frantic calls, messages and conversation attempts. So we come back to the main question, what can a desperate Imran do to win over PM Modi? Believe me, there is a lot that Imran can still do to secure that one elusive meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Let me however make one thing clear. There cannot be an unconditional meeting between the two leaders. Imran Khan will have to meet 13 conditions to succeed in his attempts. We are not asking for too much. These are just some Indian demands that he must comply with if he wants to draw Priya Modi's attention. Let's go through the foolproof plan. Now, the first demand shouldn't come as a surprise. Turn Pakistan into a proper democracy with a civilian government. Throw out the non-state actors, terror groups like Jesh Mohammed, Lashkar e Taiba, and also kick the Pakistan army out of government's function. Second, vacate Pakistan occupied Kashmir on an immediate priority basis and stop interfering in matters concerning the Indian Union territory. Third, surrender Balochistan to Baloch. Confine Pakistan to what it should be Pakistan minus Balochistan. Fourth, surrender Sindh to Sindhis. Let them exercise their right to self-determination. Fifth, deport Hafiz Saeed, Ibrahim Daud and Maulana Masood Azhar to India. Or in the alternative, cooperate with Indian military forces to eliminate them through counter-terror operations. Sixth, stop funding and sponsoring terrorism. Go beyond words and take actions and show what you have done to eliminate terror factories on Pakistani soil. Seventh, ensure reconversion of all minorities who were converted through coercion in the last 25 years or so. Eighth, press authorities into action. Trace those who committed atrocities like rapes, murders and lynchings against minorities and make provisions for awarding capital punishment in such cases. Ninth, tell China that it can continue with China-Pakistan economic corridor but it shall not use it to harm India's interest. Tenth, since Hindus and other minorities are forced to live a miserable life and are being converted forcefully, it is important to give reservations to Hindus and other minorities in Pakistan's parliament. Eleventh, roll out job quotas for Hindus and other minorities in Pakistan so they can end their misery and elevate their lifestyle. Also, it will enable them to live their lives without any fear. Twelfth, aim for diversification in sports and announce quotas for minorities. And thirteenth, rebuild all Hindu temples that were destroyed and vandalized with the complicity of Pakistani state. Don't worry, India will help you in building the temples. And I would also suggest taking back your controversial remark like talking about a referendum for Kashmir. In short, start behaving like a civilized leader if you want to win favor with PM Modi. Otherwise, forget the idea of getting an audience from India's Prime Minister.